Hey y'all, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout to play along with Scrapbooking Coach at Home. It is her at home kit club and I am loving this piece of paper. I just love it. Love this piece of paper. Now, I'm not gonna be doing anything, you know, like monumental with it because I'm sure when a lot of people see this, you're like, oh my gosh, all I have to do is punch out more circles or cut out more circles and pop them up on foam and create a whole layout. And that's what I'm totally doing. I am. I have this stencil that came with the kit. I think it is fab because it's kind of like a firework stencil meets like Starburst. So super usable. And I also have this photo of my son. So my son is a fella that wears cowboy hats and cowboy boots and all of those kind of things, even drives himself a pick -em up truck. So I figure that is pretty darn nifty to go on this. I think I'm gonna just grab some white, uh, modeling paste, molding paste, stencil paste, whatever you wanna call it where you are from, and just do a little burst in white. So it's gonna be kind of a white on white thing. And I'm not gonna start it way back here because I know I'm gonna put some more circles, right? I just wanted to make sure kind of where I want my son's picture to hit. It's kind of about here with some of those circles coming up. So as long as I keep my stencil about where it is, it's gonna be fab, just fab. So I do recommend if you're impatient like I am, to use a molding paste, modeling paste, whatever, that dries kind of quickly. <laughs> because I have zero patience to wait around for these things to get done. Now the other thing I recommend, and it's totally up to you, but don't try to do things perfectly. If you do things perfectly, it's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. It's just not really a thing. So I just go in there, kind of try to cover, if it gets on there a little bit, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Half the time, the perfectly imperfect things are the things that look the coolest anyway. But I was thinking that the very first time I use this stencil, I might as well use it in its entirety and let the whole thing like have its moment, right? So we have that. Anything kind of extra, I will put right back into my pot and let's pull it up and we can have like the big exciting reveal in just a second. Let's get that little piece off. Now, a little disclaimer, I am terrible at washing out my stencils and cleaning my things properly. So this will not be looking very good for long. It just won't. Because I always want to get onto doing the playing for the next thing. So voila, we have got a rather cool looking white on white kind of a starburst. So what I'm gonna do next is go through our pattern papers and punch out some circles. And I want to start layering them. Now, this has to dry, but I'm really going to just kind of work around it for a little bit and fill in the circles about here with some um, dimensional adhesive. Easy peasy. Okie dokie, so I started placing some pieces and I grabbed a scallop punch as well, just so I can have, I don't know, I just, I just felt like it. And it's so funny, I punched out a couple of pieces um, from Vellum as well. And Vellum sometimes wants to punch out nice and, you know, play nice. And sometimes it says no. So I just thought I would get a little of that gorgeous Vellum action in here while I'm at it. I mean, a lot of it's like totally tone on tone, doing the same thing. And quite frankly, I don't care. I just think it's so beautiful. All right, next thing. I'm gonna go ahead and map my photo on a piece of this gorgeous vellum as well as this black and white so it'll really, really pop. Then I'm gonna pop that up on a little bit of craft foam as well as all of these circly bits. We can work on our title. It's going to be fab. I think this is so fun to play along with a new to me kit and, and just like, get all of those creative juices going. This is a blast. I'm having way too much fun. Okay, let me pop all of these things down and we will keep going. So isn't it looking so cute? And it's because this background paper did 90% of the work for me. I like this white little starburst around the picture. It's 
adding something, but definitely not taking away from the photo. All right, so now it is title time, and I want my title to read Cowboy Baby, because I am singing myself some Kid Rock in my head. So I just have a scrap of white cardstock, and it doesn't matter what color it is. I'm going to put my whole title on there, and the reason why I'm doing that is I want to be able to pop it all up, and I thought if it was just on a strip of paper, I can cut it out and pop it up just a little easier than doing the letters one by one. So just trying to be a little bit easy peasy with this. So I'm gonna get that on, probably stare at it for a moment, maybe get something to do some splatty bits, and this one will be finished just like that. All right, let's go ahead and get that title on. So like I said, I just put it on a little piece of scrap cardstock, and I'm thinking a little something like that, easy peasy. I thought that would be so cute. Cowboy baby. Uh, we've got these gorgeous, gorgeous little heart clips, and I thought I could shimmy one of them. Did I tell you guys that I matted my photo with white cardstock, a piece of vellum, and then that black and white fabulous paper? So the vellum is just giving a little something, and I did scuff up all of my little edges on everything to give it just a little something, something. Now I'm thinking of popping up just a couple of things. Do I want to do that or no? Or do I like the whole party to be over here? I'm kind of vibing just the party on this side. Let me go find some splatty bits. I always have white on my desk for splatty bits, but let me, let me, let me see about bringing in, I don't know, maybe this gorgeous pink. Ooh, give me so a moment. Come in, add just some a few splatty bits. I will go ahead and cover my photo. I don't mind if it gets like on certain parts of it, just not all of it, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna have just a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of white. And I think that's gonna totally finish off this layout. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I will have the links down below where you can get your hands on this kit. Like I said, the Facebook group, all of that fun stuff. And is there anything else to tell you guys? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I, this is um, a new design team for me, so it's super fun. Like it got announced just now, yesterday, late last night, and my kit arrived today. So the timing is super fun to jump right in. So I'm gonna finish my splatty bits. I'll show you my finished layout in just a second, guys. All right, guys, I just started splatting and splatting and splatting and yeah, went a little heavy, which I love because it's fun. Anywho, I have got lots and lots of height and dimension and happiness going. I did use my cute little clip. We have our title here popped up as well, just so I get that little bit of shadow. I love to have a bit of shadow. We've got some very simple mixed media with our, our stencil and paste and splatty bits. And that, my friends, is what I have for you guys today. I will have all the links down below. And guys, oh, still shots to follow. And I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.